Well, it's adventure time, oh, oh. Почет, товарищ. My name is Kelman. Welcome to the Russian Gamer Guide. Welcome to Gone Home. The game was released in 2013, but it is 2022, and I decided, yes, we should play it. Uh, it actually was a suggestion on uh, what remains of Edith Finch, so that's why I was like, okay, that's interesting. We should try it. Let me read it for you guys. So June 7th, 1995, 1:15 a.m. You arrive home after a year abroad you expect your family to greet you but the house is empty something's not right where is everyone and what's happened here unravel the mystery for yourself in gun home a story exploration game from the Fulbright company all right Fulbright company show me what you got let's go ahead and start um, Okay, mouse button and oh, this thing. Yes, we are ready. I don't think it's a long game. Uh, I believe it's gonna be only one video. So we'll try to make it. Hi, mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Oh, yeah, that's cute. I'm a girl. I'm coming home. I mean, yeah, I'm gone home. Mom's not answering, though. All right. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. Just as I told y'all. June 7th. It's like July 8th. If you know what I mean. Anyways, here we are. What's that? This is my luggage. Portland. She said Portland? Portland. Oh my gosh, Portland. What, Kalman? Yeah, Portland. Alright, that's cool. It looks pretty. Open the door. Christmas duck. Wait, what? Hey, Christmas duck, what's popping? Is there any mysterious note on the Christmas duck? No? Okay, we started investigating right away. Grab a cup. Uh, I cannot run. Shift is like zoom in. Oh, there's a note. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please, don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. Mom and Dad crossed out. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried, I love you, Sam. Who the F is Sam? We gotta find the key. Maybe it's in the cup. Or maybe I can just use a... Maybe I can just use a um, window to break in. M. I love it. Everything ha that has M should be fine. It's raining. Gee. Oh, there's a key. Here we go. Yes, boy. Yes. Should I take my luggage? No? It's okay. Press 1 to check the contents of your bag. Boarding pass. Green Bear Caitlin. All right, Caitlin. It's my passport. I got it to go on my Europe trip. Oh, shit. I love them Europe trips. I would go too. All right, Siri. Or whoever. Alexa, turn on the light. Turn lamp off. Why would I do that? Open the folder. Uh, it's just some... Some receipt. I don't think we Dear need Katie. it. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Okay, bitch. But we, I believe we need uh, subtitles. Display subtitles. Yes, please. Overlay text. What's overlay text? I'll turn it on just in case. Okay, that's cool. We started investigating shit right away. At the new house, added to backpack. What? What's at the new house? For you? Okay, tissue box. I'm not ready to cry. Wow, that sounds interesting. Closed drawer. The note. 
Directions to work from new house. Left on grab to what? It's some map, I think. Draw drawer. All right, there are some like tapes already. Hand soap. Wait, I can turn on a lot of stuff, but what for? Okay, I see what's overlaid text and I don't like it, so let's turn it off. So, author magazine, Stephen King. The blank page, how to, how 20 top authors conquered it. Alright, grab toilet paper. What are all these boxes? Why she has cola in her restroom? Here we go, let me turn on the light. I really hope nobody's gonna jump in my face. Like, bitch please. Worldwide timetable. Katie's departure, 7694. So they were kinda expecting me, but... Bitch, where they are? Read note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hang out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when he was little. Alright. Let's listen to messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Who's talking? Oh, that's me. Sam! What up with the side titles? Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Bitch, bitch, what is happening? Why it's so creepy? Blair Witch, is that you? Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but that it's me. a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, that was cute. No more messages. Wait. Ooh, this, these are my footsteps. Listen. Jeez, I thought somebody entered the fucking house. No, I don't want to call nobody. Sam, Katie, Mom, and Daddy. Oh. Bitch, stop, it's creepy. Oh my god. Press 2 or M to check your location in the house. Someone's talking. I think it's radio. Welcome new student. We hope that you are so excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you. Positive attitude. Okay. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. It just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Why the Psycho House Girl? Oh shit! Jesus, this thunderstorm, it gets me all the time. Fuck me. Anyways, let's see, there was something else in the... Closet. Oh, no, not this thing. Here, here, a postcard I've sent. Paris. Take me to Ulala. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating le petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film uh, to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love y'all. Mom, Dad, Arbor Hill, Boone County. Okay. 
What's here? Grab a photo. Oh, she cute. She cute. Grab pen. What for? Grab pack of cards. What is this all for? Why am I grabbing stuff? Pencil. Oscar Doc Mason. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month. I think it's like uh, my grandpa or something. Well, rest in peace, sweetheart. Fuck, it's so dark. I kind of have a feeling someone's gonna jump in my fucking face and scare me to death. Um, electrical inspection. Wait, I don't want to read electrical extension. What is this for? Ooh, I need a code. I need a passcode. I see. Oh, John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars. Twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station. Okay, something. John Russell. Process, processing. Someone's behind me. Something fucking creepy in this house. Like, I do hear some strange noises. Bitch, that's not good at all. Ah, oh, stop it! Is there anyone behind me? Examine paper. You can do better. Is there a passcode here? One nine six three. One nine six three. Can we try it? One nine six three. One nine six three. Oh, bitch. You gotta be bullshitting me. Grab glass. It won't break, huh? Mysterious note. Wait, what? I write, it's saying what? I write on what I hope and imagine a joyous occasion. News makes me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have, bitch, I need uh, this overlay thing. So. I write on what I hope and imagine must be a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time during my long days and nights at the house of Ar on Arbor Hill to consider my past and my family and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the 10 years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. I wish you and your new bride many happy years together. You are always welcome in Arbor Hill, though I will understand, of course, I will, if you feel oh, you cannot accept this invitation. Interesting. Daddy. Maybe he had a mistress. Nothing's in the drawer. Highlighter. Ooh, fucking. I don't know, we gotta find the... Why I'm grabbing this bottle? It's so weird. Okay, there's something in this room. Turn it on. Well, so far so good it looks like. But bitch, I really hurt somebody. It's like a library. Huh? <gasps> Porn journal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Papa lo loved looking at porn. You gotta be bullshitting me, Papa. The accidental pariah. Okay. 
Fucking Papa was cheating, I'm telling you. That's why Mama left. Oh, uh, dear Terence. David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting in the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs I don't fucking know what this word means, from the usable copy without heavy rewriters. Uh... I mean, okay. What's that? What are all these sounds? Stranger under my roof. Oh, fucking eerie. Fucking eerie. Zero four five one. Let's do it, guys. Zero four five one. Zero four five one. Yes, bitch. Kubelik and wise attorneys. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and a type copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at your at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with the important matter. I, Oscar Ma Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory and after full survey, okay. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boon Country, that I'm unmarried and have no children. I declare I have no outstanding debts to my name, to all creditors living or dead. I do hereby bequeath, bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the... Oh... So this is his will, and he is promising everything for that Arbor Hill. What? Mm. What? Somebody's behind me. Okay, I gotta figure out who's Oscar. Is this my papa or, gra or, or grandpapa? Something's weird happening here. Ah, uh, hey! Are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and ride back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought, since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. And so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? <laughs> no, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was I... Was it just your uncle who went psycho or does it run in the family? That's so rude. Okay, so Oscar is probably my uncle. Shit. It's like a... TV turned on. Turn it off. Fuck it. Shipping label. David, I don't fucking know who that is. Enclosed, please find a pioneer unit with remote cables. Uh, okay, it's just some TV matches. Are they trying to burn something useful? The X Files. E creepy. All right. I kind of don't know what's up here. Let's listen to it. Oh shit. Oh shit, yes, baby. Dee dee da dee da dee da. Dee da dee da dee da dee. No. Enough is enough. That's a cool sound. It's probably copyrighted, so fuck it. Hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi Fi Aficionado has too much review work to do around and he's looking for another freelancer naturally I thought of you you were saying in your cast letter how much of a pain and pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature and writing stereo reviews is that simple 
sit at home with a glass of scotch, uh, listen to some records and write up how it sounds and then get paid. I've included some issue. Okay, so they wanted, they offered a job to who? They offered job to David. Who's David? I'm trying to figure it out. Um, okay. Lamp. What is this fucking sound? Why are all so fucking creepy here? Jesus Christ. Crouch, I can crouch. Bradmobile, I don't even know what it is. Is there anything here? Pillow, pillow, blanket, oh shit. Poltergeist book? What? Bitch, what? Poltergeist book? I don't wanna do this poltergeist stuff. Somebody was hiding. Some little girl with a little curl. Examine book. Making friends even when you're shy. Ooh, Sam thought this might help. Sam, she's so sweet. You know that feeling she's just like me. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay, so Sam, she's extremely shy, just like me. Oh, I thought there was another room. Samantha. Story of a turtle. Captain Allegra looked off the ocean, it went on forever, or so it seems. Someday she would find the edge and get the paradise there. Then they heard the cannon fire, boom. It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out the deck of the black ship and he yelled you're never gonna find the edge that ain't no paradise and your father were a liar captain allegra yelled back then why do you keep following us you imbecile the first mate yelled out we'll stop you captain black we'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar the battle kept going until um captain allegra's ship got away now west she said and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Interesting. What is it all about for Christ's sake? Okay, there's nothing here. Nothing more at least. We can investigate. Let's continue. Savings. What's that? United States Department of Agriculture. Fuck. All these places so hella creepy. Turn on everything, but girl. What? Menstrual reproductive system worksheet. Vagina. What? I cannot read it. <laughs> Alright, that's cute, but it's probably copyrighted, so we're not gonna play it. Scotch Letter Dear Mr. Green Bear, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to Accidental Pariah Despite the low sales of Accidental Savior, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first and so our stewardship of the series must end here Okay the book, it wasn't too good. I don't know why I keep grabbing all this stuff. It's like a little music room. 
cute painting. A lot of... A lot of books. Thank you for having Danny over your new house. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Then he asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. Cool. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. All right, default friends. Siloni. So many different names, guys. I'm kind of lost. Hi, Loni. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Ride back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet uh, in the parking lot after 6. Uh, Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you in there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. Oh, she had some fun with somebody. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Bitch, why everybody keeps telling me I'm psycho? Please, tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing, Sam. Oh, uh, please. Whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. We gotta go to the attic and see what's up. Ooh, we gotta open it somehow. We don't have a key yet. So maybe we should just go and investigate. We finished investigating this wing. So, I think it's time. There's only one mystery about this wing is the locked door. Let's see what's on the other side and then we're gonna go to the second floor. Alright, Skull. Holy Bible! Yes, Jesus! Show me what you got! Um, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sound like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasi fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some Loro numbers, I'll pay them seriously, but I shouldn't be complaining about this good old spirit level we've had since Bob got transferred to, uh, somewhere. Katie. It's just some childhood letter from a friend or something. It's locked. So damn weird. Okay, let's go upstairs then. Nothing's here, nothing's here. The cards again. Control burn scheduled for Boon Country. I mean, we've seen it before. Personal calendar. Monday, couples, bowling, cooking class, ballroom dancing. Wednesday, ballroom, cook the big for Terry. Okay. Pen. Form. Notice of temporally personal transfer. To add an upcoming prescribed burn operation. Oh, it's burn operation. Like, I think uh, the house, like the forest nearby the house was burning. And they decided they should send us somewhere safe. Wait, what is this? It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little. And other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. 
I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Okay. To whom it can my concern? I, Samantha Green Bear, am 17 years old and I am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only 3 years older than me and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being. Okay. So they were cute, they were talking with this board notes board <gasps> pirate flag oh my gosh it's like Chloe's room so cute nail polish soda why this whole uh, house looks so fucking abandoned magazine pillow What's that? Staggy. Ooh, we don't have a combination. We need a combination. Samantha, special, adorable, merry, affectionate, nice, honest, cool. Captain Allegra is still in her flowing skirt. Okay, it's the continuation of the story. Got your number. What's the number though? Caller. 1888. 1888. Might be the combination. One, eight, eight, eight. No, unfortunately, no. Can you guys see it? Look, wait. Okay, I see it. It's uh, I won't tell you. Let me know in the comments what you see, and then I'll tell you if I see the same thing. This is so funny. What about this guy? Ah, oh, wait a second. Ah! Wait, why can I see it? Come on, Calvin. Okay, now I see it. That's pretty. Alright, let me know in the comments if you can see it too. Uh, here we go. What is this? Oh, it's a Nintendo game. Journey of Crystal. So many games. Bratmobile Cool Schmool. Okay. How do I find um What is this? Chun Lee moves fireball kick 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 okay that's funny I hate I had the same thing when I was a kid for all the beautiful combinations hi Loni I wrote this in first period and let it uh, in your locker on the way to second it's what all the cool kids are doing I've decided rhyme me back also here's an idea for something to draw two cats on a motorcycle hey this is a good idea what all the good kids are doing is actually sending each other pages on their beepers but we're cooler than them because guess what they can put this on a beeper they can't put this on the beeper your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better maybe I should just stick to writing though now nah, I like it now did you know they were about to get abducted by aliens I'm looking at Mr. Fish oh look 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 also, his secret shame is that he watches 19 to 10. Okay, Beverly Hills 19. 
90 to 10. I'm going to ask 90 to 10. Might be the combination. No. Okay, what else? Motorcycle brochure. Another note. Samantha, she was so sweet. X-Files fan. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Colosseum? Uh, it came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So it's either good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change. But I can just ditch out, out uh, on it probably. Okay. They decided to go and see Pulp Fiction. Interesting. Maybe someone was pregnant. Wild color. Oh, she painted her hair Mom red. brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? Scalp? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited, and the moment was gone. Okay, so she was a lesbian. She liked the girl with whom she was hanging out. That's so sweet. I'm still trying to figure out what's up, and where can I find all the codes for her room locker. Hopefully, not far. It's gonna be somewhere. Business card. Unknown Dimension Literature. Cast Publisher. Dear Mom and Sam, I'm in the Chanel. This is my second passage through the Chanel. I'm sorry. Okay, this is my postcard. Look at me, Private Investigator Kalman. Looking at all this stuff. That's a big TV. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not even watching TV. Why would you... Oh shit. Samantha? Sadako? Sadako? Why would you put a TV in to close that? Mitten, kitten. It. Quick fix. What is this? For man. Ooh, another room. That's a hell of a house. A real fucking mansion. After the honeymoon. Our honeymoon. Say you want me to. Dark blue. What a color technique. All right, watercolor eyes. Don't leave me with watercolor eyes. Ghost Mansion. Another game. Oh, that's Walt Whitman. I love Walt Whitman so fucking much. I sing the body electric. Take your time. I'm glad uh, to have it in good hands. Hands, Rick. I sing the body electric bed, baby. Mm. That's my postcard. Nothing specific. Okay. We still have some rooms available. Oh, shit. Attic. Oh, Katie. Mom, Dad. We're going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer But you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it 
Is that guest room? Books. Katie, Katie, Katie. Ghost Hunter Journal. Shadow in the upstairs. When I rounded the corner, Uncle Oscar. Oh my gosh. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Mm. Spoiled milk. Gee, they'd be a little young investigators. Hey Sam, you were asking what my G rare little, little ribbon meant. There is a handy guide guide. Orienting rifle team adventure training. I don't know what it, this stuff is. Okay, let's see. That's a study room. Performance evaluation. I think I'm looking for a tape. Halloween show. Don't forget your costume. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Mmm. That's so cute. Young love. Is this a um, music tape? Okay, it's just a music tape. No, 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 no. We don't want to listen to it. Okay, that was cute. Shit. Kind of creepy. Ooh. A witch. Captain Allegrand, first mate. Oh my gosh, they'd be so cute. Lani. Wow, sin machine. Pretty. Wildfire. Some romantic book. This is so funny. That's definitely not for Sam. She's into girls. Heavens to Betsy. Loney, holy crap. I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping six. Wait, what? Map? Down a floor, up a floor. Wait, where's the secret passage? So, library. Library and secret passage. Library and here's the secret passage. Okay, we're gonna find it soon. Healthy choices, cute. Sam, Sam's dark room, do not enter. In red li if red lights are on. What do you mean it's fucking locked? I have to open it somehow. Okay, let's see the secret passage. Did I see somebody's shadow just now? No, it's just restroom. This house is so hella big. Like, oh my god. I don't even know where the exit is. Gee. That's where I came from. Okay, so library. Dad's office. Okay, it's right here, guys. This is Dad's office. What is this room? T. 
TV room. This is TV room. Okay, we gotta find library. So that's dad's room. Here's the library. And here's the secret fucking passage. Hidden compartments found. Evidence of the supernatural discovered. What? What the fuck is this? It's so creepy. Why there's a freaking secret passage? To attic. Should we go to attic now? Okay, let me see. So... That's mom and dad's room. I should... Uh, go this way. Yes, but attic is closed. It's fucking locked. I don't know how to open it. There was some other X. Maybe it's another um secret passage to somewhere. Well, it's not here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's something here. Oh, shut up. Alright, but I don't understand. What else should I do? Like... Let's go to the first floor. There are some access. Maybe I should investigate them. Bitch, I'm so fucking lost in this house. Okay, that's the way down there. For year. That's office. And it's saying X right here, but what exactly it does, I I cannot use it. There's no lead Oh shit. Fifty one Half of some locker combo added to backpack. What the fucking hell is this? We gotta go to library, guys. This is fucking insane. Last special guest, Maidenhead. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. This is so freaking sweet. Oh my god. Look at this. The uh, little, 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 little board. Hello, who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? Oh, that's creepy. I think I got the second uh, combination. 
Maybe we can open the combination. Uh, look at me. Look at items. 0, 51. 0, 51. 0, 50. 1. Hey. Loni. Loni came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> that's so cute. I thought there was something wrong, but it appears that she actually fell in love. Was she stealing these clothes? What the fuck? Oh, <gasps> Gentleman, the magazine for men. Oh my gosh, Sam. This is so funny. Oh my god. I love this game. It's so... Innocent. Okay, guys. It's time to go to basement. Where's the basement? I think this is the basement door. Isn't it? Maybe not. Wait, where's the basement door? So, for year? Oh, basement door. Dad's office. We gotta go to Dad's office. There should be a locked door. But I don't remember any locked door in this wing. Okay. Maybe there is. Something. This one. Yes. Creepiness in my teeth from your kiss. Uh, dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to uh, your uh, abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoy the Fla uh, flavorous potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time <laughs> oh that's so cute Dear Mrs. DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in the kind of being such a gracious host of the festives at your father's estate following the uh, for a mansion meal with my parents your family's Thanksgiving feast uh, was the more enjoyable thing okay they were having good time we got it <gasps> Sam and Lonnie oh my it's different now I mean we still hang out all the time like before but now when no one else is around well you know so you could say we're dating but it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, where it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Boy, oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> it makes me want to say I love you to someone too, Jesus. Uh, reproductive system, menstrual cycle. What is this? Oh man, one of my old sex education assignments. Okay. Caitlin, kind, amazing, intelligent. But what happened? Why the house is so empty? Where's everybody? It's burning. Looks like all cool. But something is definitely wrong. 
Would like to congratulate you on your acceptance to the... Okay, so they accepted her. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. What do you fucking mean, bitch? I'm gonna go with her. Boone County Register. Mason's Pharmacy Soda Fountain welcomes Boone Country youngsters. Okay, youngsters. Thank you sending a copy of your newly published book. Uh, you can do better to shed artifice. Okay, they didn't like the book. I think that's mom's citizenship stuff. Mama from where? Elizabeth Seattle intends to reside permanently in the United States. Okay. Okay, America. Where's my citizenship stuff? I'm ready for it. Let's go. I need another ring here. It don't work. The fuck is this? First floor plan. We don't have the combination for the safe. I wonder what's there though. Cassette player. Okay, we don't wanna listen to it, excuse me. Uh, Girl Scout, set list, okay. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Yolanda De Soto, Mr. Samantha, Mexico. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of you. Wait, what? Wait, what? Loney. Okay. Well. We have to find stuff. A lot of newspapers. What's that? Mason Pharmacy. Mason. There's something, should be something creepy about this whole situation because. Uh, it looks like Mason is a psycho. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no about us <clears throat> kids at school though I'm really afraid that's a whole other story stick with the group Katie stick with the group the psycho house girl skeletons and devils the psycho house girl lie to mom and dad 
Well, she def definitely didn't have an easy life because of this psycho stuff. Another tape. Dear Mrs. Green Bear, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. Ooh, hush, 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 hush. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Wow, we're on the other side of the freaking house. That's insane. So Lonnie wanted to go to army, but also there's like don't ask, don't tell that she's a lesbian and stuff. Hey Lonnie, sorry for mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she's home, she takes it out on you like because you're not a member of the family she knows. Oh, you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. Okay. But, was there anything else that we could investigate? No? That's so interesting. King FM presents. King FM? What? What, King FM? What is this creepy side of the house? Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. She was trailing in Mexico. We got this. Mom's purse. Hi, Jen. I got two tickets. Okay. It's still my postcard that nobody reads. Sam, since you refuse to hear uh, us this afternoon, uh, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. Uh, you are grounded for the rest of the months. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, okay, okay. Is it all because I'm a lesbian? Interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you are never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, Is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. Okay. Manuscript. Don't give up on this, honey. Um. Okay, backpack. All this good stuff. This whole thing is so crazy. I wonder if Katie knew that before, that her sis is a lesbian. I love my L girls. I don't see any reason to be nasty for them. Yes, another music day. Thank you. Some notes. Dishwasher. Cute cups. Wow, 
Why itself 12? It's not 12, it's like 1 a.m. But this house looks fucking abandoned. I don't know what happened. Kitchen, kitchen. Congratulations on your position. Oh, that's creepy. Dear Mrs. Greenberg. Okay, I mean, there are like a lot of stuff to read. But I believe the most important things, they are doing this as subtitles, as memories. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend. Be good. I'll be good with Lonnie. They were in denial saying I should find a boy. What do you mean a fucking boy? I don't like them boys, bitch. Okay, what am I doing now? This whole thing is so weird. Where I am? Kitchen, dining room. Sent from Barcelona. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. She's gone. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh my gosh. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army uh, is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I'd end up. Maybe someday when I'm settled at the base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together. Bitch! What do you mean? We should stay forever together, blat! I love you, Lanny! Manuscript. Fuck you, Manuscript! Fuck this family! What happened to Lanny? From the pen of Terence. Oh shit. Uh. Cover copy. Where we'll do it. Secret door under stairs. Midnight June 5. Final preparations are complete. June 5, it's like yesterday, guys. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. I cried and she held me she said she knew it was hard but life would move on I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her that's when she cried too the sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen I just want to sleep when I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. 
What is she still there? Is she in the attic? I do have the key for the attic, so we here we are. We're about to see what's up. Sam, are you here? Sam, baby. Sam, I will always remember what we had. Stay strong. Kick ass. What do you mean? Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive. Until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. And I said yes. Yes. This is so crazy. Oh my god, I'm so happy for them. They were so funny Katie, though, trying to I'm so sorry. Summon that I can't the be there to daddy see you spirit. in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did and that you won't be sad and you won't hate me and you'll just know that I am where I need to be I love you so much Katie I'll see you again someday love Sam My god, what a sweet fucking game, what a sweet fucking game, achievement unlocked, gone home, I think I only got one achievement out of like 10 or something, but that's what's up, what a sweet fucking game, I did not expect that, I thought it's gonna be something mysterious, something creepy, something spooky and scary, but it's something very nice, young love, and stuff and you're leaving home leaving everything behind because you want to be with the person you love and Lonnie she always dreamt about army the army but she figured that what actually makes her happy is to be with uh, Sam and this is so touching I really needed this game uh, in my life right now, so I'm happy I played it. Wow. And that's beautiful. The, the wallpaper or whatever that is, it's beautiful like purple sky, stars. Ugh. I really hope you guys enjoyed the game as well. It's called Gone Home. It's on Steam. If you'd like, you can do it yourself and read all the notes because I think there's more to the story and it's so extremely rich and beautiful. Like, wow, such a great experience. All right. Don't forget to drop a like, write a comment, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.